Hey guys, and welcome back to another Binding of Isaac Rebirth episode with me, Holo. Let's continue on. Last time we did a really cool challenge run, had some fun with that, but now it's time for us to play the two remaining characters that we've not played in an episode. Those are Magdalene and uh, Eve. So, I will try Eve. I didn't really get to mess with her too much. It was, it was an interesting run on the stream, but we didn't have too much going on. That is a really bad spacebar item. I believe that is the horn in which um, it does no damage. You know like the magical horn where you become like a unicorn and you're invincible for a bit? Yep, unicorn stomp. You feel stomped. Basically, when you activate it, it makes you invincible, um, but the the drawback is um, in the previous like version of it, like you know the unicorn horn, you can do damage. You know you can you press it, you're invincible, and anything you walk into takes a lot of damage. Whereas with this version, um, you it's a stump, so there's no spike, so it does no damage. So yeah, definite definite drawbacks to getting this version rather than the actual unicorn horn. Um, but I'd rather have it than no space bar item, I suppose. We have a key for the next floor, unless we do have enough money here uh, for. The shop. Wow, a massive amount of zombies here. Like, like what's with the massive wall of zombies going on? Just gonna focus on killing these. I, th I think I saw. Yeah, I thought I saw like this green sort of blob at the top right of the screen, and then that zombie came running down. Now the issue with Eve as a character is, um, yeah, she has no damage. She has a uh, one bar of damage, two hearts, and two movements. So her movements okay. Her health's pretty bad, but it's. It's manageable, it's bearable, and her damage is just fucking awful, man. Now, she gets two special passives um, in trade-ups for this. So, the dead bird, which you can actually see on her head, that looks very hilarious. It almost looks like a bit like a top hat or something, I don't know. Um, and basically, that is a companion, or like, AI helper or whatever, that only activates when you take damage. Ah, oh, man, that's shit. Um, yeah, so, when you take damage, it activates. Simple as that. Um, it does really good damage. Tinted rock right there. Really like a bomb if I could get one. This is a scary ass room. Oh god. Alright, so I think Dingle's one of the hardest first bosses in the game and I have nothing to hide behind right now. So, how he works is he whistles and at the same moment he will uh, shoot at you and spawn stuff. Okay, so he, now he's going to charge me, right? Nope. Okay. He's going to charge now. No, he's just going to keep spawning and firing. Shit, well, I took damage. But that's fine because we are on the first sort of wave here. It's fine to take damage. No, he's too tired. See the dead bird spawn because I took, took, took da blah, 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 because I took damage, which is actually quite nice for me because I'm having, you know, some serious issues doing enough damage to uh, kill Dingle, you know, the d -d 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 Dingle man. Um, so the dead bird is actually doing quite a lot of damage that I am otherwise unable to do due to the fact that I'm just, you know, I only have one attack damage, which is just shit. Okay, does he three times, and that's it, and he's tired. All right, finish him off, bird. Bird doing the real damage here. It actually worked out fine that um, I actually took the damage that I did because it increased the damage that I could do. So no bombs. Only one key caught. Blah, 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 blah. Only one um, coin to work with. We got some tears up and shot speed up. The reason shot speed's okay, as I've said a few times now, is because um, it usually comes with something like damage or tears. Tears means that shot speed is pretty much fine, apart from the knockback, but otherwise it's fine. But uh, damage is very good. And either way, more attack speed. But I look horrifying. Like, I've got tooth fix holding up my eyelids. The first time I saw this item, I was just disgusted. Alright, so we have the shop. Is it worth wasting the key? No, but it definitely... Definitely is worth going into the curse room. It's dangerous, I admit, to do this. Because I'm only going to have one heart when I leave. But the thing is, during that time, I'm going to have um, something awesome activated. Oh, nice. You know what? We're going to go ahead and activate this. And that means that we can save that soul heart. Um, I figured I may as well just use the spacebar item and stop damage on the exit rather than the enter. Because on the enter, you don't know what you're going to get. Um, and on the exit, you know what's happening. So, figured I'd stop the damage on the way out there. And that means I have a soul heart to protect me for a deal with the devil or angel. Probably going to be a deal with the devil, as it usually goes. Let's check this. Or not. Okay. Alright. So, our damage isn't that good, as we know. But my attack speed is pulling me back a little bit, you know? I, I at least have some nice attack speed from the item dropping. Man, Lemon Mishap guy. Lemon Mishap is actually really good against these guys. I don't know what to call them. They're like like squidge faced or something like they 
basically on like higher levels, these enemies become much harder. What they do is they um, they die and then they turn into the uh, bone guys, like the bonesies or whatever you want to call them, the skull men, skull men, um, which is uh, quite quite annoying. You know, you kill them and then they turn into like one of the scariest enemies. Well, not one of the scariest enemies, but one of the like harder enemies to get your head around because. It's not a tear, it's a bone, and it like comes right at you. This could be interesting. This could make the run. What is it? Cancer, HP up, you feel protected. Increase of health. I've got the crab cancer. I feel protected. I don't know what that means exactly, but what I do know is that I have crab claws now. You see those? That's horrifying. That looks so fucking weird. That looks so weird. So, so fucking weird. Alright, moving on. So... Careful positioning here. Avoid the spiders with our shit damage. This is a bit, of, bit of an issue. Whoa! Whoa! There. No jumping. Only skittering. Only skittering. No words. Only dreams. Uh, nothing here. Okay. Oh yeah. We feel protected. Oh shit. Okay. Focus. 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 Oh man. I was trying to get him to blow that up. Right. Can I trick you? No. No, I can't. He's just gonna blow up right there. Never mind. I was going to try and get him to do that, except next to the Tinted Rock. Uh, but I fucked it up. I fucked it up. This could be Explosive Diarrhea. I'm going to try. Bombs are key. Well, that did nothing. Okay, we got Bomb back and got our Soul Heart. Since we're here, we're going to go in. Monstro is uh, a boss fight that I seem to be getting a lot. And I'm, I don't think I'm that upset about it, because obviously he's an easy fight and whatnot. But, uh, you know, you see him a little bit too much at the moment. I think... Um, it has something to do with the scaling of the game. And if you don't know, Isaac's really smart. The more hours you put in, the more completions you get at the game, the harder the game gets. The more champion boss fights you face, the more, like, harder enemies you face. I've not really seen any hearts and masks, my hate most hated enemy, and they're definitely in the game. And the reason for that is because I simply haven't beat the game enough yet. I've not put enough time in like I would have in Isaac right now, um, to actually have unlocked those enemies as a thing. You know, it scales with you, it expects you to get better the more you play, and therefore it gives you harder enemies and harder bosses and whatnot as you go. And I think that's one of the fucking coolest things that is in Isaac, a scaling game like that. Alright, this is a fine room as long as we actually get something from it. It's not something. That's something, I guess. Oh! Oh, well that's just a troll, isn't it? Hey! Hey! Here's a curse chest! What's the curse chest do? Teleports you to the devil room? You know, the one you were already in just now. Yeah. Enjoy. Fuck you. Range up's pretty shit. Um, my range was fine, so I'm not happy about that. So what we're looking for now is a way to... I don't know, spend some health to do something, which would, you know, obviously I would cancel that spending of the health by using the horn. Gotta remember to be doing that. You know, finding blood banks and such is really good for that, because it means I can use the blood banks for free. Uh, no tinted rock in here, and we have one bomb left, two bombs left, so it's definitely worth trying for a secret room. We have a couple spots that it could be in, uh, literally two, so this is one of them. No luck on that one, so we know that it's over here. And I'm going to be clever and go to the one that's safe to go to, rather than the big one, because I don't get my head around the big ones yet. Okay, we got plenty of money for that. Oh, actually we got the counterfeit coin, Wealth of Wealth. Every time you pick up a coin, it has a chance to spawn another coin, which is kind of sweet. I'm not going to waste my keys in the shop since I have nowhere near enough money to actually buy anything. I don't want to donate anything, I want to save the money. So counterfeit coins is going to be really nice, you know. I ex fully expect that we're going to have plenty of money by the end of this um, run, basically. Because counterfeit coin, again, you know, doubles the money that you get every time you pick up a coin. Maybe triples, maybe quadruples, I don't remember how it works. But I know that it spawns more money, basically, every time you pick up a um, coin. Uh, just like, you know, the flat penny, where you, every time you pick up a coin, you have a chance to get, like, a key spawn, which is awesome. There's also a burnt penny, which is the exact same, except that it spawns bombs when you pick up stuff. Alright, got some red hearts off Gluttony there. See you later, mate. Gluttony was one of my favourite and... I don't know, favourite and most hated at the same time? I don't know. I, I grew to love him, but at first he disgusted and, uh, and freaked me out, you know? Gluttony, I'm talking about Gluttony in the um, anime or manga or whatever you watched or read of uh, Full Metal Alchemist. And um, there were seven deadly sins as enemies in that. I won't, like, spoil much for you, but, uh, yeah, you saw the seven deadly sins as, like, characters. Like, they were really, really cool. I was very impressed by it. And, uh, yeah, Gluttony is just adorable, basically, in that. He's just so, like... Well, 
gluttonous. I, I, I don't know how else to say it. It's funny. It's it's just funny. It's crazy. But yeah, he's like one of the most silly, like less serious out of all of the characters. Has some scary moments, but yeah, it's it's. I, I don't want to spoil anything, but man, the things to do with those um, deadly sins are really interesting. I'll say that and uh, say no more. I say no more. Okay, we'll get rid of these charges. Uh, I heard them referred to as silkworms somewhere, these. Uh, we, we had some issues, like, saying the name of these in original Isaac, my original Isaac playthrough. And, um, my god, it took a while to come to, like, a name that everyone was happy with. And we started using charges as a name. But I heard silkworms somewhere, and that kind of also makes sense. So, I don't know what I'm going to call them, but I may just, like, swap around. I used to refer to them as leeches, but that's actually a different enemy that, like, flies uh, elsewhere in the game. Okay, this is scary. Good thing I got all these soul hearts. So that thing that said I feel protected, what that did was give me a fuck ton of soul hearts, I believe. But it's also giving me this effect. See how I'm like blue now? Oh, son of a bitch. They walk really weirdly. Um, you see how I'm like blue now? I don't know what, what that's doing exactly. Like whether that's um, actually protecting me from damage, but it doesn't seem to be doing. But it's giving me this weird blue sort of glowing effect. Oh, these are bomb spiders. When you kill them, they blow up. That's pretty neat. Okay. Come on. There was an enemy type that uh, was in the last game that I said wasn't. Oh, man. Health down. You are... You're a cruel mistress. Well, I suppose at least we've got Brimstone. Uh, Brimstone, no. We've got... Uh, Gertie Jr. Shit. 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 We have we have Babylon, is what I was trying to say. Permanent Babylon, because I only have one heart. Used to be only on, when on half heart it would activate. Now it's on heart, which is a buff for the character. Not ever so slight, but still a buff. Okay. You're gonna have to you're gonna have to give me something good here. Purple. I don't remember what that is. It might be growth hormones. Brimstone. It's brimstone. The first brimstone. Technically I, I have hearts if I take this. I'm gonna do it. Yes. Brimstone guys! It's the first brimstone of my Isaac playthrough. What's this? Speed and damage up, growth hormones. I guessed it right. Alright, sweet. So we have insane movement speed and we have Brimstone. First Brimstone of my um, Rebirth playthrough. Very excited about this. The I guess we technically had like a bit of Brimstone going on with Azazel. What's that? Chemical peel damage up. Well, I guess it's just damage up. It sucks that I ended up taking the damage upgrades after getting Brimstone, because in original Isaac, Brimstone would triple your current damage. So I kind of missed out there, I feel, getting some damage, but it's still good Brimstone. If I'd gone to the item room first, I mean, I would actually have more damage than I have now, basically. And I think I took the... I took this item after as well, which I don't think... Yeah, it was Go Formon, so that was damage up as well. I missed out on damage there, and uh, yeah, that's something that I need to teach myself to not do, to stop doing, basically. Nice, a soul heart. I really need that. What's going to be crucial for me is not taking any dumb damage. Um, especially when I have no red heart. So we're looking for H-up pills. We're looking for um, health upgrades in general as our main priority and our main like needed thing. Our brimstone charge is very fast and we're looking for damage up as well because single target, we're going to struggle. Oh, I didn't realize that thing has spawned. See, Peep here is going to be an interesting one as well. I'm going to I'm going to send spend my time far away from him using this superior range. Except when he jumps, which point, you know, he's going to come towards me and then I'm going to walk on the creep, get hit three times in a row. That might have been four times because I might have walked on the creep a, se a, a second time. Wow, Peep just fucked me up and pretty much due to my own like mistakes, but that's really dangerous for me. I, c I can't afford to lose that kind of health. I'm looking for soul hearts desperately at the moment. What would save me would be something like Bum Friend. Um, not Bum Friend, like Devil Bum Friend. Devil Bum Friend is insanely good. Basically, what he does is, you know, I, I, I need to stop like walking into the enemies and the enemies' attacks and stuff. If I could do that, you know, I'd have a chance here. I'd have a chance at the, in this run. Ooh, random item. Tear blast. Spl oh, sad bombs. Sweet. Yes, one of my favorite, my favorite like version of bombs is uh, sad bombs because it's a. Uh, Allows you to have the same sort of attack damage. It has like the same attack damage as your actual attack. So the more damage you have, the more special like 
you have poison damage, for example, when you use a bomb and you have sad tears, it'll shoot out poison tears in that in that case. So it's kind of cool. Kind of neat. Okay. My wall of death is all powerful, but I am in a <laughs> in no situation right now. I am not in a good situation. My movement speed is good, but it can backfire that. Oh, mate. All this damage. So much damage. Maybe if I just keep taking damage, I'll win. Seriously, I need a health upgrade or some soul hearts to drop or I'm dead. Like, that's a genuine concern. I'm horrified right now. Okay, that's not so bad. I'm not risking getting those pennies right now. This, it's not worth it. Okay, use my superior range and and brains to not die. Okay. Oh, son of a bitch. Stay away from him and just murder him. There we go. Oh, random item. Yes, much better than like a steam sail. Stay <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, okay? Fuck you. That's just... You're, you're not very nice, game. You're not very nice. Do I go to the boss room now? I guess I do. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. You know how I was saying that my single target's pretty bad? I'm concerned. <laughs> Gives me, like, one of the most single target bosses. Fortunately, all he did was, like, spawn enemies. And then instead of shoot at me. So, that actually worked out completely fine. Random item again. Health upgrade. Yes. Yes, we're back. We're back in it, guys. We got a chance. We got a chance. I got, like, a bunch of bandages on my poor face now. I can't believe I got a steam sale in that shop. Fucking so bullshit. Uh, does this work? Oh, yeah, I tried this on stream. I was pissed off. Um, yeah, apparently that doesn't work anymore. You used to be able to actually pull that off um, and sort of trick the system. Oh, that I, yeah, those are those are my massive. You see the tears, how they were massive off the bomb. That's because of brimstone and the damage I have. Another random item. That's very lucky. Ninety nine keys, baby. I didn't have any left. Fuck yes. All right. Now we just need like Guppy's tail, so we get tons of like chests. Spawning, and we, yeah, awesome. Can open every chest from here on out, guys. Pray for health increases. Pray for health increases. Alright, welcome to Depths. This is fine. Okay. Bombs are key. I could get fucked on a bombs, but I'm gonna pass on that. For now. Okay, very good that I got Brimstone against these jerks. As always, you need like a... <gasps> Fuck! I forgot that champion versions of enemies often have some sort of explosion or stupid bullshit attack that just like fucks you up. And now I'm down to one heart. Well, at least it's a red heart. I'm back to being in a really fucking bad situation though. Fuck, that's not what I meant to do. Oh, that's a tease. Oh, oh. Okay, got him, got him, got him. Wall of death. Oh. Oh, fuck. My laser's better than your lasers. My lasers are better than your lasers. My lasers better than your lasers. Okay, last one. Okay. Yes! Oh, thank you, glorious world. There is no tinted rock there. Oh. <laughs> oh, okay. Yes. 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 Okay. Okay, just don't take damage here. Just no damage can be taken. Why I'm so happy about this is obviously because I got some health there, but I'm already down to one red heart. Like I give a fuck about nine tails. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Nothing changed. Nine lives. Awesome. Okay. So we have nine lives, so if we fuck up, we've got a chance here. We have some soul hearts to protect us. We pulled it back. We pulled it back from the brink of extinction, guys. A bomb for... A you know, an easy way in there, it's fine. We found the secret room at the same time, which was definitely an accident. Gained a bomb, fucked tons of money, hell yes. Alright, so what that does is prevent damage from the direction I'm aiming, or has a chance to, is what you guys let me know. So I'd, I'd like to say uh, thanks for all your comments and uh, your info and help. Um, as you can see, I'm learning from it. As always. 
Okay. Careful. Careful. Don't be stupid here. I, I don't need that key because I kind of have unlimited. Is that common cold or is that Bob's curse? If it's Bob's curse or like the Bob's brain, actually, I think that's... No, I know it is. That's Bob's brain. I really don't like that item. I really don't like Bob's brain. Um, especially when I'm, I'm doing something like brimstone. So I'll explain why. Um, basically what it does is, uh, ooh. Oh, sorry, I just noticed something. Right, if we're at the other side of the room, I'm at the left, right? Look at the right side, where at the max range of the brimstone when I move. I think it, like, bends. It does. It bends. That's so cool. Why does that amaze me so much? Because it's because it's like, you know... An actual like um, laser and lasers wouldn't bend well I told you that we would have a lot of money by the end of this run but I didn't realize it would come from this I figured the counterfeit coin would sort of just pull us through but yeah we're looking for shops and we're about to stop seeing them so a little bit upset about that but that's fine I feel like we're in a really good situation right now we managed to pull through uh, a really bad situation and now we're like doing okay War. Well, we could use the um, thing that stops damage, so I'll take it. I really feel like the horsemen move slower when they're going across the screen like that. And I don't know how to feel about it. I feel like it makes it easier. I think I've talked about this before. I think it makes it easier, but at the same time, those of us who have played the game a, a fair amount, um, you know, are so used to a certain, like, movement that it kind of messes with your mind a little bit. Yeah, we'll take that. Uh, that is not Meat Boy, but the... Other version, the the girlfriend version, I guess. Krampus! It's our first Krampus fight! Holy shit! Okay, focus. Nice! Head of Krampus has appeared in the basement! There's a new item from Krampus! Head of Krampus! So, that should be coal, right? Which, uh, I don't know if it will actually affect Brimstone. So we have four damage here. My ex was present, lump of coal. So still four damage. It's like a deeper color. Now, in original Isaac, coal did have certain effects on certain items that, that you wouldn't expect, and it didn't have um, an effect on other items. So I don't know how to feel about this. Um, I think, I think that uh, it would do damage to enemies the further away they are. Like coal itself is basically the longer it's traveling, the more damage it does. Please get. Oh yes. More deals with the devil, and uh, protection from above us. Okay, that's fine. So it was worth losing a soul heart there. Um, although I don't have many to sort of bargain with, so that's a concern. So we are definitely going to go straight into that shop on the next floor, and it better fucking be, like, legit, because we've gone against greed in the one of the floors, and then the immediate following floor, this one, we went against super greed. So if we go against greed again, I'm going to be pissed off, bro, okay? Also, didn't we face gluttony on this floor? Or was it, that must have been on another floor. Because that would be confusing, right? Yeah, I am very interested to learn whether Brimstone, like, does damage, more damage the further away it is from you, based on the call. Because that's how it's meant to work, but, you know, sometimes synergies like that don't work with, like, Mom's Knife, for example. Um, the further away you hit with Mom's Knife when you had call wasn't a thing. It would turn your Mom's Knife black, but uh, it had no other effect. It just meant turned it black. Well, I guess we at least have this to do. Since we got fuck tons of money, we may as well like donate everything we can until this glitches. But I think unless it glitches, we're about to get to 100 coins. Son of a bitch. Is that Meat Boy? You see that up here? That Meat Boy on the shelf. Looks a bit like him. Um, well, that sucks. You know, that we nearly got 100. Next, next attempt. Nice. I think next attempt. Oh, let's check it out. Do, I f does, do you feel like that does more damage than when it's close? Let's go, let's test. Let's go close. Let's go far away. I'm... I'm inclined to think that it does. Stop jumping over my brimstone, you son of a bitch. <laughs> he, like, perfectly timed that to avoid my damage. That jerk. My brimstone's better than your brimstone. I fire better lasers than you. Yeah, that's right, bitch. I'm, I'm going there. Alright, we got him. Death. Yeah, we'll take that over bombs a key. I'm happy with the keys that we have. 
Actually, since we're not going to actually have anything to really open after we kill Mom, I might go back and actually reclaim that. Oh, God. Watch it there, mate. The double quadruple dingle is about. Look down. Um, that used to be okay. I don't know where there is now. I didn't really understand why it was okay, but I, I'm pretty sure I heard that it was. Maybe a comment or something about it. it was like, you know, look up's good and look down's good, basically, is why. Recollect. In my memory banks. Yeah, I mean, we, we'll have plenty of keys if we use that bomb as a key pill. So, since we're not going to come back, I'm going to go do it now. We've got plenty of keys. We have plenty of keys. Like, we can get away with this. Um, so, we'll just use it. That way, we have enough keys to get away with for the rest of sort of the, the playthrough. And now we have 97 bombs to work with. We can look for the super secret room if we want. We could look for the secret room easily, obviously, but super secret maybe. On top of that, we'll be able to just bomb the shit out of, like, single target boss fights. We have sad bombs, which are awesome. And my sad bombs are also, like, massively, like, powerful based on the fact that, you know, I have brimstone. Nice, more bombs. Okay, um, could be here. Could be here. Let's check. Nice. Got in one. Oh, nice. The sad bombs are also being affected. Uh, see how I picked up that coin and got two coins. Kind of awesome. Um, the sad bombs are actually being affected by uh, the coal. So the further the sad bombs tears moves and hits, the more damage it does. Very awesome. There's only one hand here, I guess. No, there's two. It just waited ages to come down. Son of a bitch. Okay. Okay. Let's keep moving. Had a comment the other day um, that was like, I don't like the the amount Hollow says bitch. Does that bother anyone apart from that person? Because I don't understand why me saying the word bitch would upset you. Well, as I trade away all my coins here, keys, I just want to find out what he gives. What does he give? Right, something that costs a key. Oh, okay. You know what? Yes. Yeah, you 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 were worth it. You were worth it. But I want to trade a bit more to see if you give items. I'm going to keep at least five keys. Come on, give me something. Another one. Well, you got me a key for what I did, but... Come on, pay out. Like, give me an item. There it is. Master of lockpicking. Oh, Nice. Okay, so basically every time we unlock something, I have a chance to not spend a key. Awesome. Oh, here's something really cool. If you hold control and just hold it, it drops your trinkets and your uh, tarot cards. So you, if you've got like a tarot card or a trinket that you just don't want to have, you can just drop it and it's not there anymore. That's really awesome. All right, time to go to the devil room. Do I dare? Do I dare? That would put us one guppy item away from becoming guppy. And it would spawn tons of chests and I have the lockpick. I think I dare. Because I have this amount of hearts. That is really risky. That is really risky. We have the counterfeit coin as well. But yeah, it's going to be very important that I don't take any dumb damage. <laughs> and uh, you guys know me. I don't, I don't take dumb damage. I don't walk into enemies all the time. That's, I wouldn't do that. Would I? Okay, I might. Alright, um, <laughs> immediately you nearly walk on spikes. Okay, remain calm. Remain calm. We have our item room at last. Took us a while to find this one. Feeling like this Eve run's going very well. Just destroyed all that fire. That looks like a red sperm. No idea. Let's find out. Turdy touch. I assume that does something when an enemy touches me, but I don't really know. You know, notice um, enemies are actually technically invincible for a moment when you walk into the room for the first time. Kind of an annoying. Oh, Necro! Necro book is in. Use the death card enough, and that unlocks it. Apparently, did not know that. Figured I'd just use it to, like, clear the room for, like, one moment. I, I, I felt completely confident in this fight, but I, I just wanted to use it, to be honest. Because I always forget to use it. Um, so I figured I'd just use it. But honestly, I probably should have saved it for the womb and, like, a horrible room to speed it up. Yeah, because I, I had no problems with that, obviously. Is that the same devil room? Yeah, it is. Okay, well, time to leave. 
30 minutes into this run now, going pretty fucking good. Alright, so... We know there's an arena room up there, and we're on extra large, and we know the boss fights are up here. So, we want to head this direction. Oh boy! Wow, that's satisfying. That's not satisfying, fuck you. Okay. Oh. Fuck you. One of them spawned and hit me there. Like, under me. That's bullshit. Nah, mate. I am not having any of you. Not not any of you. Looks like this is not the correct way to get to the boss fight, which is a shame. So, looks like we gotta go down, actually, uh, this way. Okay. That's that's fine, I guess. We are one item away from becoming guppy, like one guppy item. But I don't think it's too much of a concern, really. I think we're fine. Fuck, it caught me. Ah, oh, balls. Why did I just decide there wasn't two? Okay. Okay, there might be more. There is. There still could be more. There's, those hands are scary as fuck, man. Okay, that's it. Okay. I lost a lot of health there. And as we know, I really can't be doing that at the moment. I got a lot of bombs. I'm going to spend some here. Just to look for some hearts. And hey, we found one. Okay. So that's good. So bosses should be up in this general direction. Woo! Woo -hoo -hoo! Oh my god! Fuck this. Fuck this. I went very high there. Very high pitched. And uh, I don't, I'm not even sorry. Okay. Nice. Is that Bob's brain or common co- It is Bob's brain! Fuck! I, I avoided it last time, and here it is again. The reason this item's so bad is because it often just fucks you up. Like, it'll hit something and blow up right in your face, you know? And especially when you got brimstone, it backfires super hard, okay? It does. And I don't like it. Like, what the fuck? Where, where exactly- I'm gonna use more bombs because I got a fuck ton here. Still looking for them hearts. No look, okay. Oh, son of a bitch! I knew it would happen eventually. I knew it would happen. I was looking at my map and I walked on the spikes. Oh, I was so careful for so long. Well, at least this can do me good. Reusable tear burst. Yep, that's that's probably better than the thing that I'm using. Uh, I guess we'll go this way then. I guess maybe it was up. And we'll skip this room because we want to avoid as many rooms as we can. I'm a little bit concerned. And then go in here like that. Yeah, so this was the right way to go in the end. Okay. At least it poisons, I guess. It's just so bad. It just... It hurts you more than the bloody enemies, man. Plenty of keys here. My laser's better than your lasers. Thank you very much, sir. Whoa! Oh my god! Tammy's head synergizes with what items you've got. Brimstone Tammy's head! Holy shit! Holy fucking shit! Boosh! Oh, 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 oh my god! Oh, 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 oh my god, that's so fucking satisfying! Oh, that is so fucking satisfying! Boosh! Oh, <laughs> Wheel of Fortune, yeah, we got tons of money. We got loads of money. We're gonna play you, we're gonna play you for a bit. Get some health, maybe. Get some health up, get some pills. Come on, give me soul hearts. Give me some soul hearts. Come on. Nice, 99. We got we had 99 we've had 99 keys at one point in this run. We've had 99 bombs at one point in this run. Now we've had 99 fucking coins. I called it. Hey, is that a flat penny? Yeah, we were talking about you earlier, but I prefer Master of Lock Picking, I think it's cooler. Okay. Just uh, take the time here. All right. Boosh! <laughs> it's usable every room, dude. I can't not. I can't not. All right, yeah, we're definitely blowing out these up. There could be, there could be some health over here, mate. Could be some health. Oh, yes! <laughs> oh my God. Hey, good news, guys. I'm Guppy. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Why have I got, like, no body? There we go. I'm Guppy. I'm fucking Guppy. <laughs> All right, here we go. Oh, double Loki. Boosh! Oh, my God! 
Holy shit! <laughs> HP up, tears up, shots me down, whatever. Oh my god. Boosh! Oh my god, one hit! <laughs> We've unlocked a fetus in a jar. You can't see that yet, but you will. Oh my god. Tammy's head with brimstone. I don't know why it's so powerful. Fetus in a jar. We've unlocked... Oh, yes. Damn, man. We've unlocked fucking um, fetus. You know, the bombs. Boosh! Oh. Boosh! <laughs> Oh my god, it's so fucking satisfying. This is dumb. Doesn't do anything. Oh, it's so fucking powerful, though. What an Eve run. Boosh. Fuck it. Fuck it. Like, ever doing anything but this. Oh my god. This is so fucking fun. Boosh. <laughs> I'm just one hitting every. Ah, oh, health upgrade. Yes, world. Yes. Boosh. <laughs> I'm sorry if that's annoying, but I can't help myself. I can't help myself. I'm just having so much fun. Nice. Health down. No thanks. Look down. No thanks. Paralysis. What a shit pill room. Ah, health up. Never mind. Overall good room. I'll have none of that. Yes. Just what I was looking for. And uh, we'll look for some soul hearts here as well. No luck. Hey, we got the bombs to look. We may as well just ensure our victory here. Yep, there's one. Oh yeah, flight, up. Okay, here we go, Mr. Devil. You have no fucking chance. You don't even know. So I want to use this at the right time. I don't want to use it on the Fallen, I don't think. Because he's so easy. Oh nice, I ran into damage there. Okay, um... I'm going to use it on the feet when two feet are down on stage three. That's the plan. Get wrecked, Mr. Devil. Get wrecked. Wrecked. Okay. All right, Tammy's head. You know what to do. Boom. Oh, one hit. Oh, fucking hell. Oh, that's so satisfying. We've unlocked the razor. Yes. We've seen this cinematic a bit too much now. Oh my god, we've unlocked the razor. We've unlocked Fetus. Fetus in a jar. What a domination! What a fucking run! The Tammy's head with brimstone is the most satisfying fucking item ever. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed. Next time we'll be playing as Magdalene as our final character to finish off. Um, I have beat the game with her as once, but not on camera, on a video. I did it on a stream. So! Thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed. Leave a like if you have. I've been Hollow, you've been you. See you next time.